go. High kick from JP. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Daniel Morrison, JP St. Louis. Both guys are proven tough. They like to fight a long time and they get better as fights go. Yeah. Daniel Morrison has a shakal jab. It is nasty. Heavy kick to the body there from JP. Yeah, both of these guys are definitely, you know, athletic specimens. We've seen them fight before in the Combatagon. And like I continued to say for the previous first nine fights, this is not going to a decision. I can see this going the distance. But they are not going to like life for a couple weeks after if they do. I mean, you owe me a Chick-fil-A milkshake from the last fight. <laughs> I do. I got you, man. I'm a man of my word. Right now here, JP, he has the body lock on Danny Morrison, but fighting for the takedown there. Very nice takedown. And he gets it. And if I have to say, the path to victory for JP would be, you know, take him down, land those strikes to ground a pound, or search for submission. And for Daniel Morrison, man, he's a striker. So he definitely wants to keep things standing up here. Couldn't agree more, sir. JP in the open half guard of Daniel Morrison. And JP's uh, nasty, you know, he's very violent. He, he loves the elbows and the knees. trying to come up. Yep, he's waiting for Daniel to come up and it looks like he's trying to bait that guillotine. Trying to bait, yeah, bait that guillotine and there it is. He just needs to get his hips in just a little bit more and still bringing a lot of pressure down on his neck. A lot of pressure. And if nothing else, he can just keep him up against the cage here and just, you know, throw some strikes down. There we go. Go back into that half guard and just rain down elbows. It doesn't matter how you get the victory, whether it's a submission or strikes. Morrison trying to explode. See if he can get JP back into his full guard. Morrison's foot is caught in JP's shorts so to his advantage. <laughs> he really is stuck in there. I think Larry will see it now. Oh, that helped him actually. It helped him with the lift. That's uh, incredible. I've heard of butterfly guard, but I've never heard of short guard. More like butterfly guard. Oh. Man, I love Morrison's jab. Wow. Yeah, his jab is oh. snapping, but Big knocked JP's the mouthpiece out. There. Oh, Flying knee. He Big follows knee body. Up. With that knee, if I'm JP, I want to break off and land my strikes. He definitely seems like this with a slight edge there, the stronger fighter there. And now Morrison drags him down. And this yeah. Is, uh, right here in front of us. Both guys showing how uh, well rounded they are. Yeah, exactly. Just because Daniel Morrison is a, you know, a striker, man, he's this is the MMA bout. You got to be well rounded all across the board. Couple of elbows to the ear. Yep, 30 seconds left here. Daniel Morrison's trying to do enough to steal this round here. The last 10 seconds here of this first round. 
Daniel Morrison's got to continue to run. Oh, hard knee. Oh. So was that. Oh. Seconds and, you know, maybe they get a little bit of brain fog in between. So if I'm focusing just on the meat of, of the round, JP, but if I'm focused on, you know, the beginning and the end, I'll give it to Daniel Morrison. Yeah, I couldn't be a, you know, a judge. It's definitely a difficult a Just difficult the corner job. of Daniel Morrison, yo, his nose is broken. I think they're talking about JP. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. That was right in front of us. Uh, yeah, well, that, that knee. first knee was. JP with a big right hand. Yeah, both of these guys are massive for the welterweight division at 170 yes, pounds. Heavy kick. To and the it body. goes into the goes into the takedown. And right back where he was in the in the first round, JP lands another takedown. If I'm Daniel Morrison, man, I got a frame on his face and push to fight to get back up. I don't want to wait till the last 30 seconds of the round to do my best work. If I'm JP St. Louis, I'm just going to do my best job to stay in this half guard and continue to land strikes. I want to keep him here. I don't want my opponent to be able to steal the last 30 seconds of the round for me, depending upon how the judges, you know, are seeing things tonight. Even from this position right here, he can land some knees to the body up. The JP lets him stand back up. Daniel Morrison is in and out on those feet, landing those strikes. It looks like JP is definitely looking for that knockout. Knockouts and takedowns are the two things JP is looking for. Nice straight to the sternum. Yeah, every time Daniel comes in with those strikes, JP is just waiting for him to land that right, especially since these guys are opposite stance. Both of these guys got to be careful if they jump in too big, too heavy. They're not landing to the power shot of their opponent. Ooh, Ooh heavy head kick. Oh. Trade skis. Yeah, those straight shots there for Daniel Morrison, man. Nice knee. Every time Daniel lands a shot, it's just coming straight down the pipe. You could definitely tell the difference in this bout from both fighters. Daniel Morrison mixing it up well, and flying knee. Really now he's starting to feel it. But then JB initiates, and tying up. Tie him up, try to catch his breath there. Breaks off. Another big righty from uh, JP. Looping left just missed for Morrison. Uppercut, big knee. Yeah, those knees. Elbow oh, and Daniel down. Morrison initiating that takedown there. But he has to be careful not to, for those elbows there by JP. Is that get looking tight? It looks like he's really digging in. Cranking on it. He's feeling that joke. There's the tap. tap. There's the tap. And he tapped. Oh, man. Wow. I and JP Too Much St. Louis gets the guillotine finish in our main event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Leonard Filson, calls a stop to this bout in round number two at four minutes. For your new combat night, welterweight champion out of the red corner, JP Too Much, St. Louis. 
congratulations to JP, Too Much St. Louis. Big congrats. Our new welterweight champ. And I see a dejected look on Daniel Morrison's face, but no reason to hang his head. That was a fantastic, hard-fought contest for him. Back to Absolutely. the lab. And I look forward to seeing <laughs>